Yes, hello everybody, this is Ray from Ray's United and I'm back. The past week has been one hell of a week. You know, a week ago, a lot of us were like, we wanted the, uh, the core team, we're going to announce something and in relation to open mainnet and uh, unfortunately that didn't gain any ground or didn't come to fruition. But um, obviously the, da the past week before being quite uh, um, upbeat, it was downbeat and then it became flat and now it's been upbeat because a lot of people have seen that there is um there is a movement amongst pioneers and most pioneers sort of share a, a common voice and uh yeah it seems great however i've thought you know what as much as we're talking about this there are some other things that need uh, uh spoken off and um one of them is obviously this particular video i'm about to do so obviously the question was asked i asked it could he could he you will know what it is when i come back however without further ado you know what to do smash that like button guys smash the subscriber button become a member or not and of course if you've got super chats you can also give it or super whatever but hey when i come back he's on I'm back. A lot of people will be asking why is Ray always doing videos in his car? I think I like doing videos in my car because uh, when I get home, I'm tired, you know. So I thought the best thing to do is just be in the car and do the video while I'm at work. Take a 10 20 minute break, record it, and then you know, edit it later on and release it to you. So that's what I'm doing, and I think you like it as well because it's more personal, uh, sort of personable, it's more, um, um, sort of. It's something that you can relate to much better because wherever you're right like, okay i can listen to ray because after all he recorded this video in his car so i can listen to him wherever i'm at on the go right we record on the go we watch on the go i love that so obviously um let me go let me go to the point a friend of mine a very good friend of mine you all some of you may know him vindicated chidi very good guy very well informed a very brilliant guy you know he, he's so good at crypto and the particular partner to work he's a very he's a staunch pioneer remember that he's a very staunch pioneer and i respect him a lot so and the respect is mutual you understand him and i nah we don't get at each other's throats nothing always great with him v chidi if you're watching this you're my guy you know that right if you're watching it you're my guy trust me you are you're a very good guy so obviously um if, uh, a few days ago he um said some things i i, I, I saw it on twitter you know what I mean? And I was thinking, hmm, I've been wanting to do a video about Nicholas Kokalis in relation to his um, background on cryptocurrency as a whole, particularly Bitcoin, right? Particularly Bitcoin. So I thought, well, if Vindicated Chidi has said something that is in the avenues of what I sort of wanted to do, then why not? You know, why not get into it? Let people know what Vindicated Chidi has, has said and what I thought of it. Do you know what I mean? So let's do this so obviously on his twitter page he actually sent something out now um back in 2022 this is what he said remember november 2022 this is what vindicated chidi said uh, and it's on the screen so you can read it dr nicholas uh Kokalis said i was in uh, the crypto space before the invention of bitcoin I'm of the opinion that he knows, and this is Vindicated Chidi now saying, I'm of the opinion that he knows something about Satoshi Nakamoto. And in this, and in the video, as, uh, you know, some video that was done, he nearly confirmed my suspicion. He was explaining the Bitcoin and used the word we. He used the word we. And as a result, obviously, he went on to say in the next text now if you're if you're there please watch it he said on sorry in the next text or the next post or tweet he said on november 2022 which is what i read previously i tweeted that nicholas kokalis or n kokalis knows something about the creator of bitcoin 
If you read the Pi White Paper, Nicholas Kokalis listed the weakness of the BTC. Uh, do, do, you, do you know BTC was designed to be a currency? Something happened along the line and it ended up on exchanges. Um, this is where Nicholas Kokalis, the Pi Core team and Pi Network came in. I will say this. Either it's either Nicholas Kokalis is Satoshi Nakamoto or he knows him, her or them. Now, this is it's intriguing, it's interesting. Do you know what I mean? Uh, me personally, I, I wouldn't speculate that because I create content. So I can't come here and confirm that he may be or he may not be. All I can say is, you know, I listen to Nicolas Kokalis. I think I've watched every interview he's done. Um, not the second rated one, but the top ones. I've read the interviews he's done. I've watched some of them. And I do watch his... Uh, the stuff he posts uh, which eventually ends up on uh, the Pi Network um, YouTube account and the way he speaks he speaks like somebody that has vast knowledge about the inception of cryptocurrency and you see the thing it's not just Bitcoin even the inception which means it predates Bitcoin so when I come back I'm going to read another uh, posts that somebody made or sent onto uh, one of the groups, uh, the chat groups on Pi Network, and I will elaborate more on that because that even makes for interesting reading. Do you know what I'm saying? So when I come back, you're gonna know it. All right, I'm back. This is Ray from Race United. So could Nicholas Kokalas be Nak uh, uh, Satoshi uh, Nakamoto? Could he be that guy? Well. It's an open-ended question. Yes or no wouldn't cut it. So let me let me read this particular text and then I'll give you my opinion as to whether he is, he's not, he could be, he could not be, such and such and such. So let's let's read this. So it's on your screen. Let's see. Here it says, Hi Pi Core team. And uh, this was sent by uh Codero 4, and this is this was on the chat groups uh, on on Pi Network, so it says, um, "Hi Pi, Net, Hi Pi, Co sorry, Hi Pi Core team, I have a question to you, Doctor Nicholas Kokalis. Which month in 2008 did you graduate with a master's from Stanford University, and which did you provide a link to your sorry, and why did you provide a link to your paper titled Bitcoin?" Sorry, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Citing Satoshi Nakamoto as the author. Why did you hide your identity from the world? Um, you graduated in 2008 with a master's in computer science. Same year, a link to a master's research paper is provided citing Nakamoto as the author with the background in computer science. The Pi White Paper cites all the weaknesses of Bitcoin, a clear indication of your in-depth knowledge of the Bitcoin inner working system. Sir, you are either Satoshi or you know who they are. Guys, this makes for even more interesting reading and thank you, Vindicated Chidi. To me, you're the source of this information, even though this person did that. I always like sourcing my information, but you've indicated Chidi has have done this. I've done this. So let me just elaborate on that. So if you look on the lines of where he said he graduated from Stanford University at, uh, with a master's degree in computer science back in 2008. Now let's look at the timeline here. If I'm not mistaken, Bitcoin was launched in 2009. So if this um, paper or um, dissertation or whatever. I think it's a paper that um, uh, Nicholas Kokalos wrote, which is a ratified paper as well, entitled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. That was what it was actually meant to be, electronic cash system, which meant it could, have, it could be a currency, right? It is a currency. In, in, in our case, it was named a cryptocurrency because it uses cryptography, uh, which eventually ends up in a blockchain. Do you get what I'm saying? 
However, reading this, um, there is something interesting about it. I'm really an, uh, an intrigued by what I'm reading. If this person, Codero 4, uh, has got his facts right, because I'm not here to say that he hasn't got his facts right, because maybe he's found out um, Nicholas Kokalis' background you know, in and around the period of 2008, because remember, he's formed a, a community where we have over 50 million people. So people would want to be interested in his background. So people might have dug, I'm not the only one that want to speak to Nicholas Kokalis. A lot of people want to, but for different reasons. I have my reasons why I want to, but some other people also have their own reasons why they want to speak to Nicholas Kokalis. So here, um, listen, so, he cited Satoshi Nakamoto as the author, yet he wrote the paper. So, somehow, okay, if I'm deducing, I would say that he may, he may not have a direct link with Satoshi Nakamoto, but he may have an indirect link with Satoshi Nakamoto. Why am I saying this? Because at the time, I don't think anyone would have come by the details of Bitcoin but knowing that it hadn't even launched yet because it launched in 2009 if I'm not mistaken people if I am correct me but I believe it was launched in 2009 Bitcoin so if it was then Nicholas Kokalis had something to do with it he may not be the alias Nicholas um, Satoshi Nakamoto but he may have had a hand in the build up to uh, Bitcoin based on the paper that I'm the title of the paper that I'm reading here and the author whom it was a um, uh, reference to. Do you understand what I'm saying? And of course, he graduated with a master's in 2008, uh, master's in computer science in 2008. So that was it predates Bitcoin, if I'm not mistaken. Again, if I am, put it in the comment section. So personally, I would say, listen, now I'll give you my opinion when I come back. All right, I'm back, guys. Smash that like button, smash the subscriber button, become a member if you haven't yet done so, or if you don't want to, it's all good. It's all good. All in good faith. Um, anyway, so like I said, I've read um, uh, Vindicator Chidi's um, posts back in 2022 November and the one he posted recently. So 22 November, he said, I was in the crypto space before, which is what um, Nicholas Bukali said, said in quotes, I was in a crypto space before the invention of Bitcoin. And then uh, um, Vindicator Chile went and said, I am of the opinion that he knows something about Satoshi Nakamoto. And obviously there was a video, um, which I'm not gonna um, you know, cite to anyone, but if you want, you can go and watch. I'll not put the link anywhere. Um, he nearly confirmed my suspicion he, he was explaining the Bitcoin and used the word we. That part, a little bit suspicious. Do you know what I'm saying? And obviously, uh, recently he, he, he had a tweet which he said, on November 2022, I tweeted that Nicholas Bacalis knows something about the creator of Bitcoin. If you read the Pi White paper, Nicholas Bacalis listed the weakness of the, uh, the BTC. Do, do you think BTC was designed to be a currency? Something happened along the line and it ended up on exchanges. This is where Nicholas Kukali's Pi Core team and Pi Network came in. I would say it's either Nicholas Kukali's, it's Nicola, um, Satoshi Nakamoto, or he knows him, her, or them. So my conclusion is the latter. Um, I believe he knows him uh, or them most definitely uh, because his article, sorry, his paper predates Bitcoin, if I'm not mistaken. And if I am, please correct me. I don't think I am. So because it predates it, I'm fairly certain that he is not Satoshi uh, Nakamoto, but he most definitely could be somebody who has links, direct links or indirect links, but links with the people or the person who actually brought about uh, Bitcoin, which has now become the biggest and the, uh, the biggest, uh, sorry, the crypto with the largest um, market capitalization on the markets. Listen, smash the like button. And if you love the video, 
put your comments there and let me know you knowledgeable people and i love you and the name is ray channels raise united word is peace sometimes let me know the video you would want me to do and i may consider it i'll see you again in the next one watch my live shows as well